All right, I got Matt Condon here at Kingdom Air Corps. I'm pretty excited because this was the first commercial pilot I've ever done in a PA-18 Super Cub, and uh, you did a great job. Congratulations. Thank you so much. What a privilege. Oh, yeah. So, have you been here pretty much the whole time at Kingdom Air Corps? Yeah, so this is actually my second summer. So my first summer was last summer where I got my uh, private uh, certificate, and then I went and got my instrument on the off-season, and then now I'm back here for my second summer, and I just got my commercial. Excellent, great job. So this, I mean, you're, so I mean, this is going to be a softball pitch, but uh, what do you think of Kingdom Air Corps? Oh, I can only say good things about it. Anybody that's in flight training needs to come here for sure. Yeah, great place, beautiful, lovely, and uh, the the it's just a, a fantastic place. Okay, let's talk about uh, gospel work. What, what's your plan? Yeah, so my wife and I, my two kids, we're planning on going in somewhere and. Um, uh, we're probably most likely Papua New Guinea, and uh, right now we're working on getting my uh, float plane time built up so we can be flying float planes over there in Papua New Guinea. Um, and what the organization that we're hoping to work with does is they do a lot of medevacs, and they do a lot of uh, hospital ministries and aid the other missionaries that are actually doing church planning there on the island. Good. Uh, <clears throat> t t how, do you, how are you funded? Where do you... Where, where do you uh, who, I know the answer to this, so give a shout out to some folks. Yeah, in, yeah. In other words, for people that are interested in the missionary world and being a pilot, you're about to, I mean, you're within a year of being overseas flying cool airplanes. Yep. How'd, so, it, how'd it happen? Yeah, we we really have an awesome sending church, and our sending church uh, had worked with us for years now. We have a missions pastor that's been along us the whole path, uh, and so they've been super supportive, not only financially, but just also as wisdom and guidance and stuff like that. And then we've also have reached out to some friends and family who have also supported us, and it's just been such a blessing to see each person's story that helps us out along this road. Yeah, where, where God guides, he always provides. There's always somebody that shows up with the right resource at the right time to do the right thing and uh in this case uh it, it sounds like it's just all falling into place for you yeah it's been such a blessing for me and my family you have any fears about going over to papua new guinea and flying float planes as far as just the lifestyle I th it's going to be a, di a big lifestyle change but uh my wife has done some traveling she's in the military so she's pretty tough and my kids are super excited and they're all on board so we're looking at it more as a adventure and we're not really too worried about any of the, I mean, we're going to definitely run into some um, new things for the first time, but we're really looking forward to it. And we really don't have any fears. Right. Yeah. It's, it's just it's something new coming about. Yep. That's, that's for sure. All right. Uh, you got about 20 seconds to give a shout out to somebody. Any, who's your who's your biggest cheerleader in this whole thing? Well, I got a shout out to my wife, of course, Janine Condon, but also uh, Joe Gerwig here, my uh, lead instructor here. He's been working with me for the past two summers. Yep. He's the uh, head instructor here, and he just taught me really just the bush flying and how to fly the airplane with your ears and listening to the plane and feeling the plane compared to just looking at the gauges and uh, what an improvement I've seen in myself just from his instruction. You know, if I can say also, uh, when we were done with your check ride, where I was in the back seat, I threw you in the front seat. And so you had to look over my big head and you had no trouble with it. I mean, it was just went really well. And I think it was because you were taught to fly the airplane, you wear the airplane yep. and instead of uh, an airplane like this at least. And you, you get in tune with that airplane. Yeah, they've, they're really good about not making me just fly one plane. And at first it was really hard, but now I feel confident getting in into the planes here on their lineup that I can go and fly and I know how to do it. So uh, it's been their great training that I've been able to do and now I feel comfortable. Absolutely. Great job. Uh, uh, appreciate what you're doing. And I got to really quick, I got to do a shout out to you too, Joe. Thank you for all that you do. We really appreciate it here. <laughs> I wasn't looking for that, but that, thank you very much. Yeah, we're grateful. <laughs> it's been my pleasure. Matthew, Matt Condon, thank you very much.